The overall goal of this flight mill device is to record flight behavior of insects under controlled conditions in the laboratory. So this method can help answer key questions in behavioral ecology, such as what conditions stimulate um, uh, dispersal or migratory behavior in insects. Compared to other flight mills, this device is uh, relatively inexpensive and easy to assemble and build, and that makes it a great device for labs that aren't specialized in the study of insect flight behavior. Though this method can provide insight into basic insect biology, it can also be applied to the control of pest insects by informing integrated pest management strategies. The construction and assembly of the flight mill is described in the protocol text. The acrylic plastic support structure is assembled by sliding the five horizontal shelves into the slots in the two outside walls and the central wall, resulting in a structure with eight individual cells, each containing a magnetic pivot and an IR sensor, allowing for eight individuals to be flown at the same time. The pivot arm to which the insects are tethered can be constructed with different materials to accommodate a variety of sizes and morphologies of insect. The IR sensors are fixed to the external sides of each cell using reusable adhesive putty, allowing the sensor to extend into the cell through the openings cut into the external vertical wall supports. A simple circuit built on a solderless breadboard connects input from the IR sensor to the data logger. Two resistors of 180 ohms and 2.2 kilo ohms, respectively, are connected on the input and output of the IR connection on the breadboard and placed in alternate rows along the breadboard to minimize drops in the voltage signal during recording for multiple.